Are you finding it hard to sleep? Finding it even harder to get up? Are your parents constantly having to nag you to either go to bed or wake up in the morning? Chris, get up! Well, you come to the right place. This is Dr. Chris's one-stop sleep shop clinic place for all your sleep-related needs. Terms and conditions apply. Monsters under the bed will not be dealt with as a cause of lost sleep. Offer only applies to die-hard operation art fans. Going to bed late and not getting up on time are things we all do occasionally. But if you're hitting puberty, there's actually a scientific explanation. It's not just laziness, or well, not most of the time. It's all part of becoming an adult. Now, to show you why, I'm going to need some spit and some more sleep. Now, leave me alone. Pots, so actually take These pot. volunteers are going to demonstrate how puberty changes how you sleep. Meet Ashley and Emma. They're eight years old and they're our young sleepers. And this is Thomas, Megan and Alana. They're all 13, they're our teen sleepers. I'm asking them to collect samples of their saliva every hour between 4pm and when they go to bed. So, does everyone understand? Yes. yes. We need to spit in these pots. Yay! The samples our two groups are taking will allow me to monitor levels of a hormone called melatonin. It's 6pm, so I need to spit now. Melatonin is a hormone your body releases to make you fall asleep and get some rest. Good night! I've come to meet neuroscientist Dr Paul Greengrass. He's been analysing our saliva samples for levels of melatonin. What are the results then, Doc? The younger children, their melatonin was starting to be produced about 7.30 or 8 o'clock at the latest. So, that's why if you're younger, you get tired around this time, but it changes as you reach puberty. For the teenage group, their melatonin was not even being produced till about 10 or 11. And that's why they don't feel tired until much later on. But you have to be careful because some things can stop the melatonin doing its job. So we've actually got a body clock that's sensitive to light. If you start doing things with bright lights, you are managing to switch off your own melatonin, which is one of the problems. So screens like iPads and electronic high-tech stuff have a lovely bright blue light which keeps us alert. And in the evening, it's about the very worst thing you could do. So the best thing to do before bed is to stay away from computer screens. But because you're going to bed much later than you were before puberty and still having to get up at the same time, that can take some adjusting to. If you yourself are finding it difficult to wake up, well, now you know there's a biological reason for it. You're not just being lazy. Good night! <coughs> Ouch! 